In this lab, we're gonna install CentOS 7.6 Linux, and we're gonna install it in VirtualBox as a virtual machine. We're gonna give it two network adapters, and then we're gonna turn it into a firewall router. So let's get started here. So I'll go to new, and I'll put in the name. Let's see here. And I'll choose the folder. There we go. And then I've got Linux chosen and Red Hat 64-bit since it is CentOS. So that looks good. Now I'll click Next. I'm going to give it two gigabytes of memory. I'll accept the default settings for the hard disk and the disk type. I'll have it dynamically allocated and then maybe I'll change the size from 8 gigabytes to 12. All right, that sounds good. Perfect. Now under settings. For settings, the first setting I'm going to play with is under system. It doesn't seem to work well with under with the pointing device set to PS2 mouse, although other virtual machines, um, other operating systems seem to work fine with that. With CentOS, I'm, it's not working with the mouse on the installer. So I, I went to a forum and they recommended using USB tablet. So I'm gonna change the pointing device to USB tablet. Then under storage, the uh, CD DVD drive, I'm going to choose my ISO image file. Now the ISO image file that I'm using, I got from CentOS.org. I clicked download CentOS and we're, I've downloaded the minimal ISO. So this is the minimal ISO image file that I'm working from. And then the lab that I'm working from is right here. And I'll be posting this content so that you can have these instructions. This is a multi-step lab that I used as a final years ago where we install CentOS 7, turn it into a router and a server, and then uh, just make sure it has all these capabilities. So it's pretty good. I'll be talking about that. So we have that set up. Let's see here. Under network, my first network adapter is going to be in bridged mode. That will be the one that goes out to my wireless network here where I'm at. So it'll go out towards the internet. And then adapter two, I'm gonna enable it. It's gonna be an internal network adapter. And I'm gonna make that named LAN because that's gonna be on the LAN side. So it has two network adapters, one that points to the internet, which is like a WAN connection adapter, and then the other one, which points to an internal network, which is gonna be named LAN. All right, so we click OK, and then start it, and we should run the installer and get CentOS installed. Let's take a look at some of the settings I'm going to be setting up as I install CentOS. In this first part of the lab, for two points, I install CentOS in VirtualBox with the settings. I'm going to set the localhost host name to CentOS.myName.local. I'm going to set a root password. I'm going to create a user account and password the location, time zone, and all other default settings. And then you would take a screenshot and you'd get two points for the install. So let's see if we can get that part done. Let's see here, it looks like the mouse is captured and that worked. Continue. All right, date and time. Okay. Network and host name. Centos dot dan dot local. That's good enough right there. I'll apply that. All right, done. 
and then the installation destination I'll select the hard drive done and perfect begin installation I'll set a root password and I'll also create a user account under my name. Okay, now that the install is running, I'll uh, pause the video and come back once the installation's finished. The installation finished, so now all I need to do is press reboot to reboot the virtual machine. And CentOS will restart, and when it restarts, I'll go on to the next part of this lab, which is, take a look at it here, after we have that done, we take a screenshot to get our two points, and now in the second part, we add and configure two network adapters for another two points. So we're going to have to set up essentially our, our Ethernet 0 and our Ethernet 1, or in this case ENP0S3 and ENP0S8. So we'll, we'll, we'll get both of those network adapters up and running. Okay, looks like it restarted just fine. I can just log in. I'm going to log in as root. Put in the password that I set up and hit enter and I've got a root command prompt. Now there is a way to zoom in on this, let's see here, virtual screen. I'm going to zoom in 200%. Well that's a little bit too much. Let's zoom in 150% and so now we have a little more room to work with. Now this CentOS is a minimal install so you're not going to see, um, there's not a desktop, so you're working basically from right here, putting in commands and, um, and basically uh, working right here from the command prompt. So that's it. So as you can see here, I put in an ls and a dir command to see what's in the directory. It's just the anaconda configuration file. I put in a pwd, I'm in, I'm in the root directory in the root uh, folder root user folder and now it's time to take a look at our our network adapters 